playing in doubles. Yeah, um, he has a Joker, Sheik, and then he has one other character I forgot about, but it doesn't matter. We're gonna get it, go ahead and get into it. Jamma versus A-Rod. Two guys, part of the Fug crew here, and their uh, Fug team is pretty well known here in Denton. I'm not gonna be surprised to see either of them take this in their pocket. Already starting out with that simple boomerang in the neutral and the jank shenanigans with the up B. It's a, it's a tough Ooh. life. Oh, definitely taking an early stock by yeah. Jamma there. That is mean. It's a, it's a tough place to be in when you're trying to get back as a tether recovery against Link because you can always go down there low and just up B to catch you, regardless if if you're Joker, Ivysaur, Belmont, anybody. Oh, nice spacing there from Jamma. Fantastic at using that kick to just get in there. Using the bomb. Doesn't mind blowing himself up a little to get rid of that uh, distance here. Keeping himself away from the Arsene, not trying to take anything. Oh, nice back air. Dot trademark. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, <laughs> the one, th one thing I will say, though, um, Jamma, whenever he does something cool with a bomb at all, it's 100% accident. I guarantee he doesn't mean to do it anytime he has the bomb. It looks fantastic. Though. It does. I'll give him that. It, it does look fantastic, cool. but it's 100% fake. Like, he's all like, oh, I did not mean to do that, but I'll take it. But, no, he's um doing a pretty good job of keeping control despite A-Rod taking that back air to uh, clean up that first stop. Ooh, Pop Arson goes back in the house, and Joker is gone. Yeah. Joker playing from behind, not as scary as you might think. It's really about like not letting him get a lead and not letting him campy circle campy using the gun. I really love how uh, Jamie uses these up Bs. Uh, not a lot of links mm -hmm. use those over the stage to really put in some heavy damage. Oh, and Jamma's trying to control him back into that bomb. Unfortunately, doesn't manage to get the... Yeah, honestly, if you ever see a Link coming down with that down air, be just run away, just get the right spacing, <laughs> yeah. because it's super punishable once he lands on ground. Oh, wow, and did you see that? It, he actually did fall with the down air, just like you said. Uh, Jamma tried to, or not Jamma, A-Rod tried to jump up and challenge oh, him, and got gosh. hit into two different upbees. Yeah. And a bomb up there. Any character trying to go low, gotta watch out for that up B. It's really hard to uh, time when to recover. So usually what I would do is like, I would drift back and kind of just like let him have the under the sector stage of PS2 and just try to either go for the high recovery or go for like a space recovery that avoids the sword. But yeah, um, good stuff to A-Rod though, keeping it close. We might sw see the switch over to the Sheik. If he, does switch, if he does switch over to the Sheik, it's going to be really all about his confirms and his combo game at like lower percents and stuff. Because F tilt for Sheik is a monster of a move to combo with. And oh, on last a second goes back. Last to second switch, typical. Error. <laughs> typical. But it is what it is. I mean, Joker definitely the character that is worth investing in. He's oh, a yeah. he's a really strong top tier character that's been proven in the meta. I feel like uh, one of the best parts about Joker is even his bad matchups aren't too bad. Hmm. Absolutely. But he's a good uh, matchup. Sometimes you'll have a fantastic matchup, and sometimes you'll have a eh, not so good for you. But I mean, it's never like, a, oh, you definitely cannot win this. Yeah, it's, it's as long as you have that comeback mechanic in Arsene, there's always a way to get it done. Absolutely. And Jamma takes the first start, not even taking a percent. Or sure, not just yet. Finally gets some stuff on the board. 31%. A-Rod's gonna have to do a lot more work if he wants to make this stock meaningful. Oh, and here comes the bomb play. Oh, just... Quick thing to note, whenever he either throws it up or the bomb down, it has... It bounces five times as an active hitbox before it's just not relevant as a hitbox altogether. Then, it's really used more so for detonation. You gotta remember that whenever you're being edge guarded by Link or ledge trapped by him, and he's like down throwing the bomb at you, who unfortunately misses that up B? Good weave. Love the roll from Jamma. Oh, and the forward smash. Shook A-Rod to the soul there in the cam. Down tilt into the up B true bread and butter stuff for Link at early percents. Oh, calls out the rebellion guard. Some with the last hit of uh Aegeon. 
Oh, and Aegeon is far. yeah super important because if you can't win neutral as Joker, you want to at least like try to nickel and dime him with a lot of your projectiles. And that move in particular does so well to keep you in the game when your opponent doesn't think that you are. Ooh. And I think Jamma just won this battle really well mentally. He was always one step ahead. He was calling out the counters, even charging smash attacks into yeah. the counters, knowing that they were about to come. Yeah, Jamma knows his stuff. He's uh, he's pretty well seasoned in the Joker matchup, so not surprised yeah. to see him take that 2-0. But Aaron did have some fancy stuff to show us. It was a uh, absolutely yeah, definitely some nice edge guarding against Jamma. Those back airs he was going with off stage, deep into the blast zone. Those are pretty nice. Yeah, Joker definitely doesn't have to be afraid, especially with Arsen to go off stage because he's definitely flying back. He's coming back if he gets you, for sure. But yeah, that's going to go to Jamma, uh, clean and assured. He's a uh, 